So last night we were trying to, we, we, we had a problem with not getting enough airflow through our system to power the cylinders to have enough linear speed in the cylinders to make the catapult go fast enough. We had enough power, just not it wasn't fast enough to launch the ball correctly. Um, so what we did is we put six solenoids Reduce to six. The volume of the <laughs> so we, put, we put six solenoids to um, to six three quarter three quarter inch bore uh, SMC cylinders, and we powered it through a linkage designed by Mark Coors. Yeah, so we're the, the idea here is we get a lot more airflow a lot quicker um, per cylinder. So basically, either it's going to work or it's going to do the same thing. Or and then underneath there is so six cylinders six, and part of this is. We have to also determine if this is going to be legal. Yes. I mean, that's the big, big problem we were having is the valves were choking the one and a half inch bore cylinders that we were using because it was 0.2 CV? 0.3. 0.3. 0.31, I think, or 0.3, somewhere in there. Yeah, we weren't getting enough airflow through the valves to power, to power the air hungry cylinders. So, we're going to fire pretty much any time. <laughs> so that still wasn't far enough. Uh, and at this point... How high is it going? Can we put it there? Like the respective amount of... Two, one... Yeah. So it's about the height of my youngest daughter, Lucy, so which isn't, which yeah, isn't high enough. So we will double that high to get up into that goal. So even with... with Increased flow, it gives a, a nice little push. And that's actually very similar to some of the robots that did this in 2008. Okay, uh, so the, the very last ditch thing we're gonna try in terms of pneumatics is um, treating the air cylinders like gas shocks. And uh, basically we're gonna, we're gonna fire it out. And we're gonna pull it back by hand and literally let the existing force in the cylinders just fire the ball out. Wah, 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 wah.